Chessington World of Adventures is a theme park, zoo and hotel complex around 12 miles southwest of central London. I've never been here before, so we're going to go and check out what the theme park has to offer, explore the zoo, and most importantly of all, I'm going to hang out with some giraffes, officially the best animal in the history of the world. Hello. <laughs> As this is the first video on the brand new channel, I'd really appreciate you subscribing and turning your notifications on if this is the kind of content that you're into. And if you could leave a like as well while you're down there, that'd do a great job of letting YouTube know they can share us out to more viewers. Let's go and explore. It's always convenient when theme parks put your thumbnail shot right by the entrance on the way in. So we've come straight in and uh, immediately it's animals. Without question, that is the finest piece of shrubbery the earth has ever seen. Look at it. It's magnificent. Giraffe bush. So it looks like there's some kind of Jumanji thing going on here. A Jumanji themed land. And then there's an old looking house over there. But we have had our eyes caught by the trail of the kings. We have no idea what it is. This could be a ride. It could be somewhere we go to walk. I don't know what this is, but that's part of the fun of coming to a park we've never been to before. We're in full on exploration mode. Turns out it was neither of those options. It was actually a place to come and look at gorillas, including a very grumpy gorilla at the bottom there. So this grumpy fella here looks like he just wants to have a nap and be left alone. There is a, uh, a smaller one over there being a bit more adventuresome, but to be honest, it's quite early on a Saturday morning. If I had this number of people just looking at me through the side of my living room wall, I'd probably have a face like that guy. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. There is the lion. Right there. Oh, hello. <laughs> oh, look at you. Looking all handsome. That is very cool. So we've got him sat there deciding whether or not he wants to eat us. <laughs> and then over there we have the lady one. Oh my word. Hi. Never been this close to a lion before. Thought you had one chase you before. Yeah, but not from this close. That was awesome. So that was the Trail of the Kings, which definitely was zooey. But then you come out, this very much looks theme parky. So I think it's all kind of mingled in together because that's certainly not all of the zoo because I haven't seen any giraffes yet. So this brings us into theme park, including the opportunity to win some Pokemon, which is always a welcome opportunity. I think Anna's on the lookout for the public toilets. So here we have some theme park rides. This area definitely seems to be aimed at the, uh, the younger guests, but there's restaurant areas, a couple of little rides. I can smell a water ride. There's definitely a water ride nearby. Ah, and there's the toilets. Oh, and we've got like a little uh, Main Street area here by the looks of it, the Wild Woods. So the busiest queue by a mile so far, the Gruffalo Adventure Ride. I am a big Gruffalo fan, but I don't know that me and Anna are going to stand in that queue without having any kids with us. I do like the Gruffalo though. Now, maybe I won't get to go on the Gruffalo ride, but nothing's going to stop me taking a Gruffalo selfie, going in the Gruffalo gift shop and visiting Gruffalo Bites. That's what I call theming on an area. We also have vampire bats there and a roller coaster going over the top of this area, which I haven't actually seen moving since we've been here. But, uh, yeah, we're starting to get much more theme parky now. I'm going to go and grab this Gruffalo selfie while I've got the chance. It's me and the Gruffalo! And Anna's over there and has no idea what I'm doing. She's just wandered out of the toilet and couldn't find me. Awesome. Oh my word, when they said it was a Gruffalo gift shop, I figured it would be a generic gift shop with a few Gruffalo things in. This whole area is just Gruffalo stuff. I mean, this is awesome. I might have to get myself a Gruffalo. 
first purchase of the day made from the Gruffalo gift shop, which actually was half Gruffalo, half Vampire. Apparently the ride, the roller coaster ride is the Vampire ride and it's currently not open. Although, I think they're running it and testing it at the moment, so it might be opening soon. Does not look like my kind of thing. Um, but Anna, despite it being an overcast day, it is definitely hoodie weather. Wore a hoodie with nothing underneath. She's hot, so she had to buy a t-shirt. So she has a vampire-themed t-shirt that she's gone into the bathroom to change into. Let's play guess what slogan it might have on Anna's t-shirt that she's just bought and wants to put on immediately. Did we all guess right? We were playing guess the slogan. Oh my word, it's got bats on the back. Worth noting as well, I've just looked at this sign that Anna's now stood in front of, at the general admission prices. If you are planning on coming here, you definitely want to be booking online in advance because it had the general admission price on here as £64 to get in for general admission. We've paid half of that booking four days in advance. So definitely book it, even if you're only a couple of days in advance, book in advance because, yeah, it saved us £62, £64 between the two of us. Just booking, uh, it's Saturday today, I think we booked on like Wednesday and saved half the price. So more rides, we've got a pirate ship over there. And then over here, the shipwreck coaster, which just looks like another scary roller coaster that people with iffy backs probably can't go on and cowards definitely can't go on. Lots of nice food options though, including smokehouse barbecue. So we're now in the, uh, I guess, Jumanji and general animal themed gift shop. I'm not gonna buy a giraffe this early in the day. Oh my word. Obviously we're getting that before we leave, obviously. I'm gonna spend a fortune at this place. This is a bad idea. Giraffes over there as well. We've got an enormous giraffe here. Oh dear. Oh, and Krispy Kremes, marvelous. So now we've come out of arguably the greatest gift shop in any theme park ever. We're in what is basically a theme park equivalent of a food court. Um, so there's plenty of dining options here. We've got a sweet shop and a Ben and Jerry's over there. Then there's Donut Express. There's also Krispy Kremes available in that shop. And then as we continue to rotate around, we've got the smokehouse. There's a pizza and pasta place, unlimited pizza and pasta, very typical theme park stuff. And then a carousel that's got a giraffe on the top. Plus what looks like an arcade and hot potatoes and hot dogs next to us. Just round there, round the corner as well, there was also a fish and chip shop. So, and there was a burger place. So there's loads of eating options is what I'm getting at. It's not gonna be like when we went to Legoland earlier in the year and had one option. So on this carousel, you can actually ride a giraffe, which is now all I wanna do. The only problem is I get violently ill on carousels. I might have to go and get the travel sickness stuff out of the car just so I can go on that ride. Meanwhile, Anna was just trying to drive a boat and we're about to walk through this big castle into what appears to be Mexico, which I didn't know this was the way into Mexico. Yet here we are, still no sign of actual giraffes. Our giraffe experience is in two hours. I'm sure we'll find them before then. Got an ass in a bush over here. There it is, look. Okay, so we've now figured out the plan for the giraffe experience. There's a VIP experiences thing in Mexico. We come back there 15 minutes before, and I think they drive us out to it. I think we're on the back of a Jeep. My job now is to spend the next hour trying to convince Anna, who doesn't like Mexican food, that we should have tacos for lunch. Look at that face. She is desperate for tacos. Anna is very much struggling with her back today, so we've come to have a sit down and watch a superhero show where they're all animal themed superheroes. We've been promised there's a splash zone. So it's now time for the Land of Dragons, or Land of the Dragons, apparently. They've got dragon, oh, I thought it was dragon teacups. It's not, it's a dragon boat. Less exciting. 
Aha, here's the bit that caught Anna's eye. I think this is quite new. The world of Jumanji, including a very scary looking ride, which I guess is the Mandrill Mayhem, the world's first Jumanji roller coaster, which is that one there. Oh, Anna's yelling at me for a picture. Let's take, let's film Anna taking a picture of me. Excellent. We've got lots of cool Jumanji stuff in here. There's also an ostrich stampede. What I'm not seeing, which I expected though, is uh, The Rock, who doesn't seem to be here anywhere. I thought The Rock would be here. Don't worry, I found him in the shop. As you can see, incredible likeness of The Rock. It is now raining quite heavily, but not to be discouraged, we're on our way into the land of the tiger, which as the name suggests, I think does contain a tiger or two. Probably in here somewhere would be my guess. Which one's the tiger? There he is, look. We have had some close encounters with these big cats today. This is very cool. I've never been this close to a tiger or as close as we were to that lion before. It's very cool. We've found a little bit of shelter briefly. I'm just filming this to show you the rain coming down because the camera doesn't always pick it up. I mean, the other way to demonstrate how much it's raining would be to show you the state of me now. Luckily, I always have a raincoat in my bag. Anna does not have a raincoat with her and it's getting rather moist. As you can see, that is a wet Anna right there. Tell me about my rain. You said that. <laughs> so at times like this, I wish I was a cool young TikToker rather than a wrinkly old YouTuber, because then I could just put the Capybara song on while we're looking at a Capybara. He's just having his lunch. Oh, Anna's bringing me, hopefully, to another Capybara. Oh, it's a tortoise. What? Oh, the tortoises are having a bath. <laughs> oh, that's so cool. They're washing a tortoise. I thought you were showing me that lady's bum. No. <laughs> I came around the corner, there was just someone bending over, and you were pointing at her bum. Well, the rain continues to get rainier, so uh, I think if it wasn't for this giraffe thing we've got booked, we would probably knock the whole day on the head and go home, because it doesn't look like it's going to clear up now. The weather forecast in advance suggested it would be fine today. We actually looked at all the different theme parks we've not been to yet and picked the one that wasn't supposed to have rain. Yet here we are, getting rained off. There is rumblings. We're just sat in the VIP area, sheltering from the rain. This is where the giraffe thing goes from. We've heard rumblings that it might be too wet to even do that. If that's cancelled, then uh, A, I'll be heartbroken. B, I'll be due a hundred pound plus refund and uh, C, we'll probably just go home because Anna's hurting. She's soaked through. I've just had to go and buy her a poncho. Um, we've been looking into uh, wheelchair rental for the rest of the day. Um, but if we can't do the main thing we came for, it's nearly a three hour drive home. I think we'd probably just abandon and uh, come back at some point in the future and try again. Fingers crossed. It's like 20 minutes until the giraffe thing is supposed to happen. So fingers crossed. Panic over, it's going ahead. What a time to be alive. We're in the giraffe truck. Giraffe truck. There's a giraffe over there. <laughs> Hello. Excellent. Thank you. Hi. Hello, you back for more? Oh. <laughs> it's a big one here, look. This is excellent. <laughs> Hello. Is it lit? Oh, there we go. Kevin. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> Do you want one? Sure. Hi. Hi. I can see your mouth. Oh, don't snatch. Goodness me. My one's wandered away. But there's several behind me. And then there's this guy. Just standing there. 
not interested at all. <laughs> right, we are now going to reverse in to the enclosure because it's raining. They don't really want to come out, so we're going to go in so we can uh, feed them. It's a bit bumpy. We've now come inside and we're just, uh, you know, hanging out with the giraffes. Because why not? Hello. You come up with some? Oh, do you want it? Do you want it? Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. They sound just like me when they're chewing. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you figured out the system. Why take one piece <laughs> when you can get a big mouthful? Yeah. They're down there, they're giving that one a bit of a wash and doing some training. It involves carrots, apparently. A big bucket of carrots. You have got a big head. Here's a third draft stick in the middle. <laughs> 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 what have we got here? <laughs> <laughs> well that was without doubt one of the best things I've ever done. That was awesome. I had a giraffe lick my hand. I got many giraffe selfies. Yeah, we got we got extra because they won't come out in the rain. Um, so we got to go into the feeding. Yeah, area. there's there's two things you can book. I think the forty pound experience is the indoor feeding one. And then I think it was £55 to do the safari version. But because it was raining, they didn't really want to come out for the safari, so we ended up being able to do both, which was really cool, because we got to hang out with them outside for a bit and then go get up close and personal for the selfies. Like really close. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, if you ever get the opportunity to do that, highly recommended. So, so cool. It's not the only VIP experience they do here as well. They've got a skunk walk. Yeah, you can walk a skunk around the park. You can wash a turtle. Yeah, you can do meerkats. Yeah, there's lots of cool stuff, but obviously as soon as I saw they had a giraffe safari, it was always going to be the giraffe safari. And that, like I say, genuinely one of the best things I've ever done. That was awesome. <laughs> oh, folks, it is really, really, really raining. Excuse the rain here. Um, we've been in the queue for Zufari for the last half an hour or so. We're now in the final throes of the queue, which is undercover so I can get the camera out again. Um, but this is basically a uh, another go out in a uh, in a jeep, looking at some more animals. So we should see the giraffes again. Looking at the menu, there's a possibility for rhinos, flamingos, um, giraffes, three others that I can't see on the sign from here. But uh, yeah, this should be cool. It's not going to top what we just did, but it's still going to be fun even in the pouring rain. Well, we are on the safari, but goodness me, this is a bumpy ride. Oh my oh, God! <laughs> <laughs> my goodness me! Um, yeah, this is... Yeah, you hold on to my bag. I'm gonna hold on to the camera for dear life. So we're currently back round to where we were when we were with the giraffes before. I don't know if the giraffes are out and about. But this is the giraffe area. Is there any of them out at the moment? Yay! There they are! Hello again! My lovely giraffe friends! I missed them in the hour or so since we last saw them. No, that one who wasn't, who had a little bit of a verse and then just stood there, he is still fast asleep. Just stood there having a lovely snooze. But we are about to go through this big puddle that's ahead of us. The vlog might end here if the camera gets ruined. Oh my word! I've never gripped this camera so tight as I am right now. 
I now get why you have to be at least a metre tall to come on this. This isn't like a normal car ride. I mean, this is the terrain we're moving over. Oh, okay, we've got rhinos over there. The rhino around the reserve, a white rhino. Now you may want to hold on to your noses for Did not expect to be seeing a rhino to today. Rhino. Oh my word, now we're going through another lake. <laughs> oh my word! And now we're going into a tunnel. This is madness. Absolute madness. What is going on in here? This might be one of the best rides I've ever been on. There you go, the first animals in ages that are not hiding from the bad weather. Um, and behind those pigeons, there's a zebra as well, which is very cool. Oh, okay, so these zebras are hiding from the rain. Everything is hiding from the rain because it is absolutely throwing it down. Look at them, <laughs> just stood under there keeping dry. That's awesome. And Anna tells me that that is a hotel mm -hmm. that has these views out over where you've got all the animals, which you can be sure, if I'd have known about that before we came, we'd be staying in one of those tonight, but we are absolutely going to be coming back to stay there. Apparently there is a, a good weather guarantee. I need to double check the fine print, but I think because it's been raining almost constantly all day, I think we are going to get free readmission. I'll double check and put it on screen now just to confirm one way or the other. But if we do, I think we might, we might stay in one of those because that looks really awesome. And with that, we are back in the car. Very wet, very bedraggled. Anna is very broken. The microphone is very high up and probably making noises. But that was awesome. What a cool theme park that is. Never been here before. I don't think we've even scratched the surface on it as we were coming out. We basically turned left when we came in. We didn't, I've no idea what happens when you turn right. I don't think we've seen half of that park. I, I think we've barely touched the theme park part of it, very much focusing on the zoo because we wanted to do the giraffe stuff. We wanted to go on the safari tour. But considering we've been here all day, only actually been on one ride and then done the giraffe thing, that's still been a really awesome day. What a cool park that is. Definitely one that we're going to be coming back to. Big thumbs up for Chessington World of Adventures. For now, just time to say goodbye. If you've enjoyed the video, please make sure you leave a nice big thumbs up on it for us. Subscribe to the channel to see the rest of the list and all the other channel content, travel content and whatnot. So I'm a broken man. I've got to drive home now. Thank you very much for watching.